morning, it's Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. We'll be looking at the MACDs, the moving averages and the day support resistance and pivot levels. It is Tuesday the 6th of October. Jumping straight into Bitcoin against the US dollar, we're looking at the hourly candlesticks. Bearish start to the morning here after an early move north. You're going to need to see Bitcoin avoid a fall through the pivot, saying at 10,753 to support a breakout from the morning high. 10.820 to bring that first major resistance level, saying at 10.870 into play. Going to need to see broad-based crypto rally, however, for Bitcoin to break out from the morning high and break through that first major resistance level. So barring extended rally, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, could see Bitcoin target 10,900 levels. Second major resistance level sits at 10.932. Fourth through the pivot level, bring the first major support level sitting at 10.691 into play. Buying an extended sell-off on the day, Bitcoin continue, should continue to steer well clear of sub-10,500 levels. Second major support level sits at 10.574. Looking at the MACD, Slight narrowing of the bullish histogram, but nothing to suggest a bearish crossover just yet. So inconclusive on the MACD. Looking at the EMAs, however, following the bullish crosses yesterday, we're seeing that 50 EMA continue wide to widen from the 100 and the 200, and for the 100 to narrow on the 200, suggestive further upside on the day. So keep through the early morning, avoid a fall through the pivot, break out from the morning high, and that first major resistance level to bring 10,900 levels into play. Moving across to Ethereum against the US dollar. Choppy start to the morning for Ethereum. Going to need to see Ethereum avoid a fall through the pivot at 352.85 to support a run at the first major resistance level, sitting at 357. Going to need to, see, need to see an extended rally for Ethereum to break out from yesterday's high that was at 356.12. Buying extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level at 357 to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Ethereum target 360s. Second major resistance level at 360.28 should limit any upside, however. A fall through the pivot would bring the first major support level sitting at 349.57 into play. Buying extended sell off on the day, Ethereum should avoid sub 345s. Second major support level sitting at 345.42 should limit any downside. Looking at the MACDs, we've got a narrowing of the bearish histograms and a possible bullish cross there. So keep an eye on that. And looking at the EMAs, following the bullish cross of the 50 through the 100, we're seeing the 50 narrow the gap on the 200 as well. Supportive of further upside on the day. So key through the morning, avoid a fall through the pivot and break out from yesterday's high 356.12 to then bring 357s and a run at 360 into play. Moving across to Litecoin against the US dollar, mixed start to the day. Going to need to see Litecoin avoid a fall back through the pivot at 46.33 to support a run at the first major resistance level, saying at 47.11. We see support from the broader market for Litecoin to break back through to 47 levels, however. So buying an extended rally on the day, expect the first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 47.09 to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, we've got the second major resistance level sitting at 47.87 and resistance at 48 to pin Litecoin back. Fall through the pivot, we bring the first major support level sitting at 45.57 into play. Buying an extended sell-off on the day, Litecoin should steer clear of sub 44s. Second major support level sits at 44.79 to limit any downside. Looking at the MACD, we've got a bullish cross this morning, supportive of a move northwards following yesterday's late recovery. On the EMA, we're seeing a slight widening of the 50 from the 100 and the 200, also supporting a positive morning ahead. So key through the early part of the day is avoid a fall back through the pivot and move back through to 47 levels to bring that first major resistance level and then the second major resistance level into play. Finally, moving across to Ripple's XRP against the US dollar, 
positive start to the morning. Going to need to see Ripple's XRP avoid a fall through the pivot at 0.2505 to support a run at the first major resistance level sitting at 0.2545. Going to need to see extended rally on the day for Ripple's XRP to break out from the morning high and target yesterday's high 0.25448. So buying an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, second major resistance level at 0.2584 and resistance at 0.26 should limit any upside. Fourth through the pivot level would bring the first major support level sitting at 0.2466 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, Ripple's XRP should still well clear of sub 0.24s. Second major support level sits at 0.2426. That should limit the downside. Looking at the MACDs, we're seeing a narrowing of the bearish histograms supportive of this early move northwards more conclusive however is the 50 ma that is widening from the 100 and the 200 supportive of further upside ahead following that bullish cross that we saw so key is to avoid a fall back through to sub 0.25s and then take a run at yesterday's high to bring the first major resistance level and then resistance of 0.26 into play